called everybody here today. I called this public hearing because I'm working on this report about sustainability for school. And there's a couple questions that I want to ask. I've never really done this before, so I hope that I'm doing it right. I have a huge list of questions and concerns about tar sands and mining in Utah. Hey, kid, what are you doing here? I'm working on my report about tar sands and oil shell mining in Utah. Who are you? Who am I? I'm an executive for the wealthiest energy corporation in all the land. Oh. And I can tell you everything that you need to know about tar sands and oil shell. Okay. Close your eyes. Imagine a red rock desert stretching up into a green forest. Native American land. Happy little forest critters running around everywhere. That sounds beautiful. Doesn't it? Well, imagine it even more beautiful. Yeah, vast stretches of money Ooh. everywhere as far as the eye can see. See, I have a magic solvent that can take... Uh, that can take oil out of tar and rock. That sounds like a really dangerous chemical to me. No, it's not dangerous. It smells like orange. You like oranges, don't you? Ew. No. <laughs> no, but it smells citrusy. How can you not like anything citrusy? I want to know exactly what's in this and how it works. Oh, those are those are those are proprietary secrets. Now, but you just need to trust us. We're experts. We've done all the testing. I'm sorry, but I just can't take your word for this. I might be a kid, but I'm not dumb. Plus. I know that it takes a lot of water to mine tar sands and oil shell, and that water has to come from somewhere. In Canada, it takes at least five barrels of water to just get one barrel of oil out of tar sand. Here in Utah, we don't have that extra water to give away. It has to come from farming, or from the drinking water, or from the ecosystem. And you just can't give it back, because once it's polluted with all those horrible chemicals, they give people cancer and destroy the environment. You have to figure out what you're going to do with all that toxic waste. Do you know how huge Canada's tar waste dumps are? You can see them from space! What's your teacher telling you, kid? Didn't she get the Tesoro teacher's guide to tar sands and oil shale? Let me finish! Even when you try to keep the toxic waste from these sludge dumps out of the environment, some of it seeps back in. In Canada, people living downstream from toxic sludge dumps have way higher rates of cancer, and the toxins spread into the ecosystem. The moose are poisoned with arsenic, and wild animals have tumors and mutations. Kid, you need to stop your environmental bullying. I refuse to stand here while you use fear-based tactics like telling the truth. Sure, people get cancer, ecosystems die, but we need oil to sustain our SUVs and American way of life. Ooh. Maybe you don't know how to live, care about people who are living far away, but we're not just talking about people who live far away. What about when the oil gets brought to the refineries? In Utah, refineries have serious accidents like explosions and chemical leaks every nine days. Do you have any kids, Mr. Oil Baron? Do you have a wife? No. Do you have any friends? Actually, yeah. Do you I, know I how to you. care about anyone? Me? Yeah. I'm not about to give my mom or my dad or my sister up so that you can profit off of your tar sand sludge. Hello, little one. Hey, Michael Brown. You're the chair of the Civil Board, right? Yes, sir. You have to save our environment from tar sands and oil shell mining. I don't think you understand. With all the money we're making from selling these lands, you'll be getting a higher education. But you were supposed to take care of these lands for us. Don't you know that, that we're just going to be left with a gross, icky mess? What about our future? With the, all the education brought to you from Sitla and corporations such as Shell and Tesoro, you'll be able to fix the problem. I think that I'm already smart enough to realize that we don't need to sacrifice the wilderness for education. That sounds like a really stupid idea if you ask me. And you know what else I think is really dumb? Sitla gives its executive boards bonuses for putting profits before the environment. How can you expect them to make a balanced decision if they only get rewarded for destroying the environment? 10,000 here, 20,000 there. What's the big deal? I mean, so the 2006 audit didn't go so well. Sitla is still in business. <gasps> I, I mean, Sittler is looking out for the well-being of our children. <laughs> Mr. Brown, you've got to know that producing a barrel of oil from tar sands releases three times as much greenhouse gas as regular oil. It's pretty much the dirtiest way to make energy. And once we destroy all these lands and fill them with toxic waste, they're toxic forever. Once we fragment our wilderness with these toxic mining sites and dumps, once toxic waste seeps into the river, Utah will never be the same. You say you care about my future, Mr. Brown. Why don't you protect the wilderness and the waters?
stars, but that they'll always be there for me and for all the generations to come. You know what? All I right. think you're right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right Mr. Brown. Hey. Hey. I think I think hey. we've heard just enough about hey. Hey. This about this from this little girl. Hey. She doesn't know what this she's talking about. Fun. All of the information that she has is completely on it. These lands that you speak of contractually belong to me. Utah. Renewable energy is the future! Renewable energy is the future! I hereby call this public meeting adjourned! Let's take our message to the streets! This land is your land! This land is my land! From California to the New York Islands From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters This land was made for you and me